the most un this is the most unbelievable trio of knives I've ever f up. <laughs> Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. I got three more knives from the giant box that Ed Durbin sent me. There have been two prior videos, the two PMP, the two pimp knives, a couple of pimps. But there are three unmarked pouches here. Now, he did send me a handful of clones from SMKE. I've always been interested by SMKE. I don't know which ones these are. So we're just going to go through them. Uh, there's three. They're identical. We're going to see what We're going to see what's going on here. See how, see how things look? I'm so tired. Please help me. That's right, more knives from Ed Durbin. He sent a lot. He sent a lot. These are nice pouches, by the way. Got a big old clippy clip on all three of them. So we're just going to start on the left side and see... What? Okay. First off, aggressive lanyard bead. This is a Koenig Arius clone. Uh, and it feels like one. I gotta be honest with you. This is a clone. This is not real. This is a SMKE made this. Um, it feels lighter than a real Koenig right off the bat. Aggressive lanyard bead, man. My dude loves his lanyards. Let's flip it. Yeah, it doesn't quite feel. It doesn't. So you can tell right away, it's not a Koenig. <laughs> the grind is also a little wonky. Um, interesting. Flipper tabs there for like Gen 2, Gen 3. We've got the weird like hummingbird cutout going on here. Yeah, it definitely does. It's interesting. You know, when I first started getting into collecting, this is a good conversation piece. When I started getting into collecting, you know, there were a lot of knives that I was obsessed with. The Koenig Arius was one of them. Um... And I was really tempted, really tempted by the clones, especially from SMKE. They were a couple hundred bucks. I could afford that. I couldn't afford 700 for the real thing. But this does not feel like the real thing at all. It's interesting. It does look like it. And it's pretty much dead on in the looks department. But it doesn't... And the ergos are the same. But the action, and I'm sure the cutting performance... It doesn't feel the same. It's not as solid. It's not as crisp. It's a little mushier. The noises as well, it has these subtle tings to it, right? That uh, the Koenig is solid. The air... Fuck, why don't I just get mine? We'll do, we'll do a little side by... Oh, that's how it's supposed to feel. This is a real Koenig Arius. This is the real deal. So, visually, yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean... Kind of hard to kind of hard to decipher if you don't know you don't know the hardware is very different. Uh, first off, the jimping is smaller on the lock bar. Mine's a hand rub satin, not a belt satin. Pocket clips about the same. The, oh, here's a here's a big one. Here's a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. See these beautiful little machining lines in the uh, cutaway, right there. See those? Guess what? None on the clone. They're gone. They're not there. Smooth as silk. So listen to the acoustics. This is where we're really going to know the difference. So that's the clone. Here's the real one. It's pretty much night and day. If you listen to knives as much as I do, do you, do you hear how solid the real Koenig is? It is solid as a rock. And this kind of just has a tink. Do you know? It just sounds off. Because it is. But, I mean, all things considered, it's a good copy. I, I can't really be mad about it. Uh, I mean, I am mad about it. Buy the real thing. Don't buy clones. Save up. Buy the real thing. You will thank yourself. But I am impressed. I gotta be honest. I am impressed. So that's the Koenig Arius clone. I'm assuming the rest of these are also clones. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Holy shit! What is this? Oh my, oh my god! What is this? Oh my god. 
I I saw this on Neves' channel, and I've seen it on your Instagram ad. Which one is this? Help! Help! We got it. We got to We got to look at the list, bro. J uh, the Reese Wayland Fatty Slash. This is the Reese Wayland Fatty Slash. Uh, it says this one's a little worse for wear. Uh, no, not really. Looks fine to me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Apparently the flipper tab used to be much bigger. I do remember the flipper tab used to come way out here. <laughs> so this is the, also made by SMKE, the same people that made the clone. This is not a clone, I don't believe. It is the Reese Wayland Fatty Slash. Maybe it's a clone. Future me, is this a clone? Look at the blade stock. Here is the entirety of a rock wall. It, the blade stock, oh, oh, I dropped it. I dropped it on my Conigarius, the real one, not the fake one. Dude, the blade stock is thicker, let me zoom you in, than an actual entire rock wall. That is, here is a rock wall from the top that is just obnoxious. Oh my God. I kind of love it. <laughs> Let me make sure my Koenig's all right. We're good. Everything's fine. That's a noxious, giant titanium pocket clip. Huge lock bar. Look at the size of this frame lock. Got some nice micro milling on here. You know, blue anode. What an absurd thing. It weighs about 19 pounds. That is giant backspacer. What a ridiculous thing. Let's flip it open. It flips, dude. No shit. Look at this. This is not even a knife anymore. I don't know what this is. Look how thick. This is my finger, dude. This is my finger. What? What? Ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. Lock up is... A little bit of up and down blade play. A little bit of side to side. Nothing too crazy. Very minimal hardware for as big as that is. Pivot screw. One, two, three screws back here. That's it. That's holding the whole thing together. Got an over travel stop disc on the lock bar. No internal milling, obviously. What a ridiculous thing. Is that a hollow grind? Is that a subtle hollow grind or is that a flat grind? It's a literal chisel. Look at... <laughs> What do I even say about this? Uh, is it running on bearings? It is. It is. So action. I'm really scared of this, bro. Oh, yeah. The action's just... Uh, actually, Ergo's in hand. It's a nightmare. It's like four inches thick. A lot of hot spots. A lot of pinch points. Not exactly a daily driver, if you know what I mean. Uh, blade shape's rough. He's done a lot of damage to it. Sharpening it over the over the ages. As one must do when your blade stock is a half inch thick. But yeah, in hand, it's, eh, it is what it is. Pinch grip, though? Yeah, uh, half the day. I wouldn't give it an all day pinch grip just because it's so big and awkward. But you can pinch grip it, for sure. You can hold on to it. Action is just, a, I mean, it, it, the blade itself weighs over a pound. So yeah, it closes. It's a guillotine. There's no... <laughs> There's no, <laughs> there's no two ways about it. What an absurd thing. God, it hurts to flip it. Like my wrist hurts. It weighs so much. Ugh. Feel like a fucking man. God, you know what I mean? Ridiculous acoustics. Really quiet. Oh my God. Oh. Absurd. Absurd, absurd, insane, crazy, out of this world, outrageous in every single way. I, I, I have no more adjectives. I have no more adjectives. This is the SMKE Reese Wayland Fatty Slash. What a ridiculous thing. I'm kind of in love with it. It weighs 18 pounds though. My wrist actually hurts. So that's two down. Let's get to the third one real quick. Oh, we got to cut something with it. What am I doing? We're not going to bother cutting anything with that cheap clone whoa let's see if this big old bitch will cut anything no i mean it wants to you know it re <laughs> it really wants to he did say he hasn't touched up the edge in a while so maybe it, with his permission i'll do that and we'll do a cut test on a live stream okay it 
still cut, dude. Unreal. This is just... It's a chisel. It's not a knife. It's like an attachment for a, a front-end loader. For a heavy, piece of heavy equipment. That's what it is. What a ridiculous thing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I just can't even get over that. Holy shit. Alright, we'll cut something with the fake Koenig. Why not? Nope. Not great. Eh, it's okay. What the fuck? Hello? Yeah, not great. Not great cutting performance on the Koenig. F fake Koenig. The clone. The Koenig. The old Koenig. Alright, one more pouch. Let's see what else is in here. I gotta get ready for this live stream. Holy shit! What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? How do I even... I'm so scared. Brass Nux, bro? Is this the Tucson? This looks like a Tucson. Get the fuck. Can I flip it open? What the fuck? First off, Ergos, very satisfying. Brass Knuckles, so satisfying. Uh, can I... I can't. You can only... How do I... How do I open you? I guess I gotta slow roll like an old man. Uh, yeah, this is the... <laughs> this, is the most un this is the most unbelievable trio of knives I've ever fucking opened. <laughs> this is the Tucson TF330FAFO, which stands for Fuck Around and Find Out. Uh, I've been fucking around with it for a minute and I found out. Yeah, uh, it, I don't even... This is so above my pay grade. I don't even know what to say about this. Really nice micro milling, texturing on the handles. Get your finger in there. Feels nice. Get your finger in there. Feels nice. Ow, I've cut my... Ow, I've... Ow. It's very dangerous, even for the end user. I mean, reverse finger in the hole. Yeah, feels good. Feels great. Not very stabby, but it has a screwdriver. <laughs> And a nice little blade on it. Uh, 14C 28N. Designed by... Rattlesnake Knives. Absurd. It's a button lock. Which is interesting to me. But it's not... The action is not... Good. You have to like... Slow roll it. There's no other way to do it. And it locks shut. So when you press the button... It'll unlock it, but when it's closed, it locks shut. And it locks open. So the only way to really open it is if you have giant hands or you pinch and roll. Which kind of seems counterintuitive for a tactical knife of this caliber. There, I have my flesh all over it now. You can hold this bitch any old way you want. Yeah, there's no wrong way to hold this thing. You know, you can just flop, flip flop it around all day. Can you do the old, yeah, dude, all day. Sure. Why not? I'm scared? Okay. What a thing. What a what a fucking thing. Uh 14 T28 in blade. I don't know what else to say about it. There's no pocket clip. You could punch somebody directly in the mouth with it, sure. Or you could uh, you know, fix somebody's glasses with the end of it. Which is a nice addition, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Action is this. Action's this. Acoustics is this. No action or acoustics for this one. Sorry. There just aren't any. But we can cut something with it. Just for kicks and giggles. By the way, uh, TS330. Okay, that's what this is called. No. Still no. No. I don't think... Well, okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, okay. Yeah, it'll cut. You gotta come at it just the right angle, man. I don't know that I would use this for self-defense or EDC. I think this is more just like a conversation piece. I really don't see this serving a purpose because it'll take six years for you to open it and you don't have a stabby tip you just have like a little belly and a screwdriver so I'm really not sure what the purpose is with this knife but it does cut and it is ridiculous Ed the surprises just keep rolling bro thank you man thank you Ed for sending this stuff along TS uh, 330 this big chung is here is <laughs> which one is this i don't even know the uh, reese whalen fatty slash and this is a fake conigarius don't buy fake conigarius don't do it but thank you thank you for sending these ed i got a kick out of this unboxing this is a lot of fun uh that is it for me links 
to none of this will be provided. Sorry, you're on your own. If you want it, I'm not providing the links. Um, I don't even know how much any of this is. Future me, let me know. Put a price tag up for all three of these things right here. Wow. Reasonable? I don't know. But that is it for me. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow Ed Durbin on the internet. Follow my wife and myself. Plenty of pictures of these two. Just because they're ridiculous. This I already have pictures of a real Koenig. I don't need this tomfoolery in my life. But that is it for me. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Become a patron member. Become a channel member. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.